After going down and then straight back up again, Rafa Benitez steadied the ship, performing miracles, in his own words, on a limited budget. The fans loved him, but his fractious relationship with Mike Ashley finally reached breaking point. Time ran out on Benitez's contract, so he left for China. Ashley said he moved for the money. Benitez claimed he never received a serious offer. The fans were left in the dark and without a manager over the summer. A few big names were linked, but as far as the supporters were concerned, Steve Bruce wasn't near the top of anyone's list, if he was even on the list at all. It was all a bit of a mess. Um, Steve Bruce came in and no one was overly excited and even at this point I'm not sure how people feel about it right now but as I say if you'd said to me mid-November would be where we are decent gap away from relegation two points off fifth I would certainly have taken it so when the boyhood Newcastle fan was named as Benitez's replacement the response was lukewarm at best maybe it was due to his association with Sunderland maybe he had become too synonymous with promotion and relegation campaigns rightly or wrongly Bruce was seen to be on a carousel along with other managers who got sacked but never seemed to be out of work for long but eyebrows were raised when Bruce ended up at St James's Park he was seen to the supporters as the last resort. The uphill battle got worse when the season started badly. He already appeared on borrowed time. The Newcastle job had been the undoing of many managers before Bruce and he was quickly on the brink. Listen, I always knew it was going to be difficult. I always knew it was going to be a, a, a big, big challenge. But thankfully, my experiences over the 20 years have put me in good stead to think, well, you know where it is going in, you know it's going to be difficult, so don't be disappointed that's not going to be. And as I've said from day one, the only way you, you can in football these days is respond to anything, is results and get a few results. And then, with time nearly running out before it had even begun, he took a punt on young Matty Longstaff and the long shot paid off. Homegrown and hot on the heels of his brother Sean, the fans already had one of their own, and now they had two. And suddenly, everything started to change. The first ounce of credit he got for me was obviously giving young Matty Langstaff his debut against my aid, and what a dream debut that was, local lad. And I think that made us realise why we still follow the club and why I still fall in love with football, because that was such an ideal, perfect scenario. That was a risk, well taken, well deserved. And then since then, like you said, some managers would be too arrogant, perhaps, and try and stick their own ways. After the humiliation of Leicester, he had no choice really, I think, to revert back to Rafa's way, and it, it's a proven way, and you, you've seen back-to-back -back wins now, is it's the way forward. The watershed moment of the early part of the season is probably the Leicester City game away, when Steve and the players must have took a step back and seen the performance and, you know, had a few in-house meetings and discussions and a lot of work on the training ground and since then I think they've uh, they've looked a strong outfit, they've looked a team that can be a threat on the break um, but they've looked a, a, a bit of togetherness there so it's allowed them to get a, a few results back to back and allowed them to come up the league. Yeah, the manager said that from the start when he came in, the only way I can change people's opinion of, of him is to win games and uh, I think, like you say, the, the recent form, we've, we've won games and we're putting some good performances and um, that sort of changed in the minds of some of the fans, which I thought was tough, uh, tough for him at the start because he's a, he's a Newcastle fan, uh, local, local, local lad, so he wanted the best for the club as much as all the fans did, so it has been tough for him, but like I say, we've managed to stick, stick with it and in the game plan he has and um, we've, we've turned around a bit, like I say, but we need to make sure we carry on going because it's, it's, it's a long old season. He's certainly not won everyone over just yet and it would only take a couple of bad results for the pressure to crank back up again. I mean the start of the season was horrendous wasn't it and then until we went to Spurs and we got a win out of nowhere it seemed we went down there for the day out and for the stadium <laughs> not, for the, not expecting a result carried on there first valiant effort we've seen from the lads I think finally playing for the badge that day gave a bit of hope heading into the rest of the season and then we've had some great results, picked up some huge wins. You think of Man United at home, yeah. Then you think of that and you, you realise Man United and Tottenham aren't the, the teams of the past, or certainly last season anyway. Obviously Tottenham, Champions League final not so long ago, now they're lingering below us. Man United just went above us, so some great moments this season, but a lot of worrying moments as well. 
but he's made a better start to a Premier League season than Benitez ever did. He was favourite for the sack at one point, but now the bookmakers say he has one of the most secure jobs in the division. Look, we've had a couple of a, a few good results. We've practically got a new team. We've got a new forward line in Almiron and uh, Joe Linton and uh, and we've and we've in St Maximum we've invested in the top end of the pitch. So it was getting them and finding a system and formation what suits them. They haven't scored yet. Hopefully, when they do score, then we'll even get a few more results. But. We are a threat to teams. I know for a fact now with the front three we've got, we are a threat. And I think, you know, we was, we're improving. We're still nowhere near where we'd like to be. But then again, I've only been here four months and, um, and relishing the challenge. The manager's got the respect of the players. Uh, the players want to do it for him. They want to do it for the fans and, and whatever he's worked on on the training ground and tried to tweak. It's paying dividends. I think you've got to enjoy it while you, while you can sometimes, especially as a Newcastle fan, because mm -hmm. you never know what's around the corner. And as I say, it was a good time at the national break to get those six points, because before we got those six points, you know, we weren't necessarily sitting in a good position at all. So That's just, how tight the league is, like you yeah, can't know. It has turned around so quickly. Um, and as I say, two games from now, it could be even better or it could be even worse. So yeah. I'm happy right now. <laughs>